he survived at one point there it was it was uncertain and now i think he's going to move forward and with as much opportunity as is available to him um really put his mind and his energy toward um uh, the recovery process. Few people know Tiger Woods better than Nota Begay. The two met as junior golfers, were teammates at Stanford, and remain close friends. Uh, you're, you're on the inside in, in terms of friends and family. I, how, how are they doing? What do we know? Tiger has gone through a, a 10 hour plus surgery and all in all, it's been tough across the board on the entire team and family. He's been through so much already and now, a, a car crash that nearly takes his life. I mean, it, it's it, it's remarkable on, on on so many levels. How does how does he pull through this one? I think Tiger's going to pull through this just just like he's done with with every other injury that he's had. I mean, he has a remarkable resolve and ability to focus on on rehabilitation. He's he's going to do that and more. So much attention over the last twenty four hours has been paid to. Is he going to golf again? Has that been frustrating at all on, on any level? It's been a tad bit frustrating, but what I've been really focusing on this last 24 hours is just my friend. There's kids whose dad is in the hospital. The path back to health will be a long one. Woods broke his leg in multiple places, surgeons inserting a rod into his tibia and screws and pins into his foot and ankle. Dr. Joel Williams is an orthopedic trauma surgeon who did not treat Woods, but has seen similar cases. So those three injuries right next to each other definitely add complexity to the short-term surgical plan, the long-term plan, and absolutely the long-term outcome. But he's not going to be able to walk, essentially, for two or three months. That best-case scenario. But once he starts walking, that's going to be another three months of dedicated physical therapy. Making his recovery even more difficult, before the accident, the 45-year-old was still rehabbing from a December back surgery, his fifth in recent years. Tuesday's crash and Woods' injuries are drawing some comparisons to another golf legend, Ben Hogan. In 1949, Hogan was involved in a head-on collision with the Greyhound bus that nearly killed him and his wife. He broke his collarbone, pelvis, left ankle, and a rib. Doctors telling Hogan he'd never play again. But just 16 months later, at age 36, he defied the odds, winning the U.S. Open. Hogan's comeback reads like fiction. And with Woods' famous determination and resolve, those closest to him say his own story is far from finished. This guy knows how to recover. And he never gives up and he's got a wonderful family um, around him to support him and, and friends and, and the entire golfing community. And I think that that's going to rejuvenate him and provide some inspiration for him to sort of work his way through this. Guys, Nota, Nota Begay um, said that his, his last hangout with Tiger was on the course with him and his son, Charlie. Uh, he walked it every day with him as, as Charlie was competing. Tiger, of course, the caddy in that particular tournament with his son. I asked him what he thought Tiger was thinking about in this hospital behind me. He said he's thinking about that. He's thinking about being a dad. Uh, this obsession that people have had over the last, you know, uh, 36, 48 hours about Tiger's return to golf. Tiger's thinking about being a father, getting back out there to play with, play with Charlie again. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.